Hi, my name is Julianne Cost, and in this quick tip, we're going to learn how to save changes that you make in Lightroom. Well, because Lightroom is a database program, that's what the catalog is, when you make a change in Lightroom, Lightroom is actually automatically saving that change into the database. So for example, if I tap the two key to give this two stars, that information is saved in the database. If I add contact information or any other metadata like keywords, or even if I go over to the develop module and I make a change like converting this to black and white, all of those changes are being saved in the database. So really you don't have to do anything. Now, if you're using other applications, for example, you might also want to see this image using Adobe Bridge. Well, then we need a way to get the information to be saved not only to the database, but also somewhere else so that that other external application can access it. Now, if we go back to the grid view, you'll notice that I'm working with a raw file. In this case, it's a proprietary raw file. So if I were to want to save the metadata, the changes to this image, with it selected, I would just go under the metadata option and choose save metadata to file or use command or control S. Now, I'll go ahead and choose continue here, but what it's telling me is that it's going to actually write an XMP sidecar file. So I'll click continue, and then I'll right mouse click in order to show this in the finder. And we can see here that we now have the CR2, the proprietary raw file format, plus the XMP sidecar file. If I wanted to save the metadata to a PSD file or a TIFF file, to a JPEG file or a DNG file, I wouldn't need this XMP sidecar file because those are not proprietary file formats. We understand how to read and write those file formats so we can actually push the changes directly into the files. If I want to look at this image now in Bridge, I'll simply drag the image down on top of the Bridge icon that will launch Bridge if it wasn't launched, and we can see that folder full of images. And indeed, because I've saved the information to that image, we can see here in Bridge that there's two stars and it's been converted to black and white. Now, let's return back to Lightroom for a moment because if this is something that you're doing all the time, you probably don't want to have to remember to manage this and actually you know, save the information to your images when you're finished. So instead, what you can do is you can use the Lightroom menu, come down to your catalog settings. On Windows, that would be go to the Edit menu and come down to Catalog choose the metadata tab, and then turn on the option to automatically write changes to XMP. Now what Lightroom will do is every time you make a change to an image, not only will it save the information to the catalog or to the database, it will also push the information to the individual files. So there you go, a quick tip for saving information in Lightroom. My name is Julianne Koss, thanks for joining me.